there are a lot of Republican runoffs. Why is that, first of all? There was more Republican interest in the 2012 cycle. Partly that was because after the Republican legislature redrew the congressional map and the state house and state senate maps, they created opportunities for Republicans to pick up seats. In fact, as many as four seats in the U.S. House delegation are up for grabs, and Republicans crowded those primaries. They hope to be one of those winners, and we see uh, the primaries uh, in the 8th District, in the 11th District, uh, and then in the 9th District. These are all places where Republicans expect to win, and the 8th and the 11th will be pickups from Democrats. And as a result, you had very crowded primaries. No one could get to 40 percent, and here we are. What do you think is the most interesting congressional runoff race of those three, eight, nine, or 11? Well, it's hard to to choose among such lovely campaigns, but <laughs> I suppose if I had to uh, award the uh, Mr. North Carolina campaign to watch, it would be the 9th District, which is between uh, Jim Pendergraf, who is the former sheriff, former Democratic sheriff of Mecklenburg County, now a Republican, running against Robert Pittenger, who's a former state senator, Republican from Mecklenburg County, longtime activist and donor in the Republican Party. It's been a knockdown, drag out fight between Pendergraf and Pittenger. Whoever wins that primary will almost certainly be the congressman from Charlotte and the surrounding areas. The 8th District and the 11th District both have competitive races as well. After those nominees are selected, then they've got an actual race in the fall with, uh, with a Democrat.